As an engineer, it's important to consider the impact of process parameters, like hot and cold flow rates and hot and cold inlet temperatures when operating or designing a heat exchanger. Let's consider the effect of both sets of parameters on heat exchanger performance. First, we know that the heat transferred from the hot fluid must be equal to the heat picked up by the cold fluid due to conservation of energy in a closed system. Let's analyze the impact of changing the flow rate of the cold fluid while keeping both inlet temperatures and the flow rate of the hot fluid constant. The heat transfer rate, or heat duty, can be calculated with this equation, where M dot is the flow rate, Cp is the heat capacity, and delta T is a change in temperature for either the hot fluid or the cold fluid. Since Q must remain constant due to energy conservation, changing the flow rate must result in a corresponding change in the temperature difference between the inlet and outlet temperatures of the cold fluid. Increasing the flow rate means that the temperature change must decrease, leading to a lower outlet temperature. Alternatively, decreasing the flow rate means that the temperature change must increase, leading to a higher outlet temperature. There are other impacts of changing the flow rate as well. At too low of a flow rate, the fluid enters a laminar flow regime. At these conditions, there is little mixing of fluid at the wall, resulting in a large boundary layer of stagnant fluid where heat transfer is difficult. This can lower the heat transfer coefficient through the exchanger, resulting in a lower heat duty and a less efficient exchanger. With a sufficiently fast flow rate, the fluid is in the turbulent flow regime, where there is significant mixing of fluid at the wall, resulting in a small boundary layer. Next, let's consider the impact of inlet temperatures on heat exchanger performance. The driving force for the transfer of energy in a heat exchanger is the difference in temperature between the hot and cold fluids. If the temperature difference is larger, the driving force for the energy transfer will be higher, resulting in a higher heat transfer rate. The opposite is true for a smaller temperature difference. Here are some thought exercises for you to consider. If you are delivering heated reactant to a reactor and you find that the outlet temperature of the fluid is too low after passing through the heat exchanger, how could you increase the temperature? Besides flow rate, what are some other reasons why the resistance in a heat exchanger could change? Hint, think about construction materials and wear over time. Do you think it's feasible to keep the same temperature difference on the cold side if you change the hot side process parameters?